Bonjour tout le monde. <clears throat> Today we are learning about the imparfait or the imperfect tense in French. Um, this is a past tense that we learn, and so it's our first past tense that we are learning. So what is it? The imparfait is a past tense to describe past events that express incomplete actions. So when you're talking about this action, it was not completed. They give descriptions of people. So if you're saying she was a tall woman with brown hair, that's a description. So you would use the imperfect. And talking about weather and background detail descriptions as well. So if you're setting the scene or if um, this is a background event, not like part of the actual plot of a story, these are all things that will be put in the imperfect tense, in the imparfait. So it's actually rather easy to conjugate the imparfait. All you need to do is know the new present form of any verb. Any verb, know the new present form, and you drop that ons. Once you drop that ons, you're actually going to add the imparfait ending. And you can see these are the imparfait endings. We have ais, ais, ait, ions, iez, a-I-E-N-T. Okay, so let's see an example. So for our verb parler, it's a regular ER verb. So to get the new present form, you drop the ER, add the ONS. So that gives us our new form from which we can conjugate the imparfait. So from the new form, parlons, you drop the ONS and then you add your imparfait ending which for the je form is parler. So it's very easy. It's just like the present tense where you're dropping that infinitive, but instead we're coming from the new form in the present tense and dropping the ONS. Here's another example, donner. So we take our new form in the present, which is donnant, drop that ER, add ONS. And then to get to the imparfait, drop the ONS, and add the appropriate ending according to the subject, which is L plural. So, elle donne, a i u n t. Now, thankfully, with the imparfait, there are only two irregulars. All verbs, except for être en avoir, you just go to that new form in the present, drop the ONS, add the imparfait ending. For être en avoir, you actually have stems. So, you're just going to take this stem, and add the imparfait endings. For example, for je, we would say j'étais, avoir, j'avais, okay, with that A-I-S ending. And we have our a buffet. So for all of these sentences, copy them down into your notes. I'll check them tomorrow. And you're going to conjugate the verb in parentheses into the imparfait. Remember, two steps. You go to your new form, drop the ONS, and then add the imparfait ending according to whatever your subject is. A bientôt!